Hi all, you are watching Simulink tutorial and today we are going to discuss MBD interview questions part 3. So let's start with today's video. So the first question is the difference between enabled and triggered subsystem. So both are atomic subsystem but how they update blocks inside them differs. So the enable subsystem. So when enable condition, when it is greater than 0, it will start updating. Once the signal is 0 or less than 0, it will either hold or reset the output based on this selection that is states when enabling held or reset. So if you select held, it will start from the value where it was paused earlier. And if you select reset, then it will start with initial condition. Whereas the triggered subsystem it will update when there is rising or falling age or if the type of trigger is function call so if we look at this signal builder signal so the enable one is for enable subsystem this trigger so if we look at this trigger signal so when there is this rising or falling age this subsystem will update since the selection of type of trigger is either which is either rising or falling if i just select rising you can see the symbol of trigger has changed to rising trigger if i select falling then to falling so the triggered subsystem it will just update the output at these instances that is rising or falling age not somewhere in between and there is one more type which is enabled and triggered subsystem so for that subsystem to update the value the enable signal should be greater than zero as well as there should be rising or falling age at that time only it will update so i hope this difference is clear i'll just simulate this model and we'll see what is the difference between the output so all subsystems have just a simple counter design inside them okay so if we look at the output the first one is for enable so when the signal is greater than 0 so between 1 and 3 and between 7 and 10 the counter should be running which is updating whereas for triggered subsystem it should update at 1 then somewhere in between 1 and 2 then between 2 and 3 then at 3 then 4 then 5 then 6 there won't be change it will be held then 7 then 8 and 9 and the last subsystem which is enabled and triggered so for that it should update when enable signal is 1 and when there is rising or falling age so at 1 between 1 and 2 and between 2 and 3 okay then the value is held and directly at 7 so 7 8 9 so that's the difference between enabled triggered and enabled and triggered subsystem so enable will update when input is greater than 0 trigger will update when there is rising or falling age or function call and enabled and triggered will update only when both the conditions are satisfied that is enable signal greater than 0 and rising or falling edge so moving on to next question the next question is to describe different actions in a chart so i'll load this model so for a state there are three actions which is entry during and exit so when the state is entered for the first time the entry action occurs after that during in the next sample time and let's just say there is one more state and now it will become active so while exiting this state the exit action of that state will be executed so for a state there are three actions entry during and exit but apart from these three actions there are two more actions which are transition action and condition action so what is the difference between these two actions so the condition action which is this one it takes place when the condition is satisfied 
where as the transition action it takes place only when this transition occurs so in this transition action so if the condition 1 is satisfied the action will not taken place immediately it will wait for condition 2 to become active so when this whole transition takes place this action will be taken so just to demonstrate that i'll open the model that is this one so if we look at the logic inside it it is state 1 is up count state 2 is down count in state 1 the target value is set to 0 and this is a transition action so when count is greater than or equal to 5 this target value equal to 1 will not be set immediately so when the count is greater than or equal to 10 this whole transition will complete and then this target value will be set whereas for condition action when the count is decremented to less than or equal to 5 this target value equal to 3 will be set immediately so let's just simulate this model and see what is the output i'll just zoom in so if we look at it when the count is greater than or equal to 10 then only this target value will be set because then only this transition will take place from state 1 to state 2 so when the count is 10 this target value is 1 whereas for this condition action the count starts decrementing and when it reaches 5 which is here around 0.8 the target value is set to 3 so i hope the difference between transition versus condition action is clear to you now and i hope this videos are helpful to you to prepare for interviews i'll come up with new questions in the next video so that's all for this video if you like this video give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning